National Assembly prepares to embark on its annual vacation, there are strong indications that the electoral amendment be, may be passed into law this week. Daily Sun has gathered that the Senate President Ahmed Lawa declined moves by principal officers of the upper legislative chambers to push for the passage of the electoral amendment B last week. He saw said Lawa opt for passage of the B this week, after which the National Assembly would embark on an eight-week vacation on Thursday until late September. The source said the move by Lawa is to insulate the Senate from any blacklist that may follow the possible exclusion of electronic transmission of results by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from voting point to the central saver during, during elections. The source said Lawa is worried that the opera that trade the passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill, PI Bill, may occur again when the electoral bill is passed. He said, Lawa is hoping that the outcry of fallout may have freezed out when the parliament resumes late September or early October. Daily Sun equally gathered that planks by Southern lawmakers to push for the inclusion of electronic transmission of results may twelfth by their northern counterparts who are insisting that their region is not ripe for electronic voting yet. The source said a meeting had already been held by key northern lawmakers with governors from the region on how to stop the move. The source said lawmakers and northern leaders pushing for the non-inclusion of electronic transmission of results are predominantly from the Northwest, Northeast, and from states controlled by the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the region. He said many states in the North Central have opted to support their counterparts in the South with the exception of Kogi, Niger, and Kwara states. The South said Taraba and lawmakers from Northern Minorities may also join their counterparts in supporting the inclusion of electronic transmission of results. It was also learned that the that at the Karubi Gaya led committee on INEC, senators would find a common ground on the controversial issue at their last meeting. Many senators reported expressed disbelief about the alleged smuggling of the controversial clause 50 into the document, which has since gone viral. A member of the committee told Daily Sun that majority of members of the panel insisted that the clause must be, must be yanked off of the entire amendment process should be jettisoned. Last week, Southern governors met in Lagos where they resolved, among other things, that electronic transmission of results must be included in the ongoing electoral amendment. Since then, more vocal Southern leaders, including the People's Democratic Party, PDP, CACOS, in both chambers of the National Assembly, have called for the inclusion of electronic transmission of results. In another development, plans are underway to confirm Rita Onoche as a national commission of uh, INEC, despite opposition from a cross section of Nigerians. A fortnight ago, leaders of the PDP led a protest to the National Assembly and urged Lawa led Senate not to confirm her. In their petition address, PDP leaders said confirming her would pose a serious danger to the conduct of the 2023 general elections. Lawa had on June 9 directed the Senate's INEC committee to screen Honor Chair and four other nominees. Honor Chair, who is a member of the ruling APC and a 7 8 to President Muhammad Buhari last week, claimed she is not a she's not partisan. Well, not anymore, she had said when she appeared for screening. Some senators who spoke to Daily Sun 
in confidence said they were worried that Lawa may ignore the wishes of Nigerians and lawmakers and approve uh, the confirmation. Nigerians have reacted. When we did not ever be ready for anything, motion for independence, not not ready, Electric, electronic tra transfer of elections results, not not ready, let the South that is ready go ahead with the electronic transfer of results, and the North will be allowed to wait till thy kingdom come. How long are we going to be be yoked down by people that want to be living in the Stone Age, despite the fact that they have been the one mostly in power in Nigeria? My brother, you ask, now who? I go ask. The matter when you see, now so it is heavy in my mouth. Someone just dropped that. Nigerians are reacting. Electronic transmission of our election result is the only way we can get transparent and credible elections and the way to go. I don't understand why the North will always draw us back in every progress ventures in Nigeria. Anything introduced during independence agitation, they said they were not ready in 1956. If not, we would have got our independence that year, even before Ghana. The North is now drawing the country back again on this progressive pathway. The North should, should wise up and stop dragging the country back in all economic, educationally, developmental, progressive, and even religious uh, indices they remain backward. That is why they need their own separate country because we cannot fit or can, we can never stay, we can never fit to stay together, he said. The Riggers are opposing every good and intelligent option and bent on keeping Nigeria backward. This is another sign that the Northern Nigeria and the rulers who want to remain in the 18th century. Please stop wasting the time of all electing Nigerians. Let us go and leave you alone, he said. So guys, we've all heard it now. I don't know the reason why the Northerners want to drop back on this. This is the only way we can solve the problem of election rigging in Nigeria. When election cannot be free and fair, that someone will go to, you know, we vote, you'll be sure of what you have done. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.